go right up the street. This will be basically uh, similar to what we did yesterday, except for today I'll give you the masses of the reactants. You'll find the number of moles, you'll find the number of moles of the product, you'll find limiting reagent, and so on. Uh, so this still falls under what you call stoic geometry. Alright, so let's just uh, do a problem. There's only be one. So first step is we're going to take these two things, uh, aluminum and iron oxide, and we're going to find number of moles for both. So let's do aluminum first. Oh wait, I should write the reaction first. Let's do that. All right, so the reaction looks like this: aluminum plus iron three oxide reacts to form aluminum oxide and iron metal. And I give you these two. And I'm asking you how much aluminum oxide is produced. So the iron doesn't matter. It's there. It's produced. But I'm not asking you about that. So we're only going to focus on how much aluminum oxide is made. Okay. So now we're going to do what I said. We're going to find number of moles of aluminum. And we're going to find number of moles of iron oxide. So that part's pretty simple. Number of moles is mass divided by molar mass. Let's put a little AL subscript here for aluminum. So this is going to be 150 grams divided by the molar mass of aluminum, which is 27. So if we do 150 divided by 27, what's that come out to? moles of aluminum. We'll do the same thing for iron oxide, figure out how many moles of that we have. So we'll do number of moles of Fe2O3. And that's going to be 400 grams divided by the molar mass of iron oxide. Okay, iron is 56 times 2, it's going to be 112. Mm -hmm. Oxygen 16 times 3, that's 48. 48 plus 112, 160. 400 divided by 160, 2.5 moles Fe2O3. C25. Uh, do you know? Yeah. Sure. It's up to you if you want to wait for a moment or not. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Um, okay, so we have number of moles for both of these. Now we're going to find number of moles of product made, which is exactly what we did yesterday. So we're going to do the same exact steps we did yesterday. So we'll do each one separately. We'll do 5.55 moles of AL. And then whatever's out here always goes on the bottom. It's easy. And what we're looking for is how much aluminum oxide is made, so that goes on top. 
And now we're just going to plug in numbers. I never balance this thing. Uh, that's a 2, and that's a 2. So it's going to be 2 moles on the bottom and 1 mole on top. So 5.555 divided by 2 is 2.775? Okay. 775. And that's going to be moles of Al203. Now remember we're doing limiting reagent stuff. So this is how many moles of aluminum oxide we can make from how much aluminum we have. We still have to see how much we can make based on the amount of iron oxide we have. So we're going to do uh, 2.5 moles of Fe203. And then this goes at the bottom, Fe203. And then again, aluminum oxide is what we're looking for, so we put that on top. And it's going to be one mole and one mole, because there's no numbers in front of the balanced equation. So that's just going to come out to 2.5. Al203. So how much are we going to make? 2.5. 2.5. The lesser number is the amount we're going to make. All right, so a couple things we want to write down here. First off, this is the one that makes less aluminum oxide, so that's our limiting reagent. So somewhere we need to write limiting reagent is Fe203. Okay? And then finally, the other thing, that's one of the questions, what's the limiting reagent? The other thing I asked you is how many grams of aluminum oxide will be made? So we've got to take this number, the lower one, whichever one's smaller, and figure out how many grams, right? So all we do is number of moles times molar mass. That's 2.5 moles times molar mass of Al203. 2 times 27 is 54. And 48 is 3 times 16 is 48. That's going to be 102 is the molar mass of aluminum oxide. So 2.5 times 102. 255 grams of aluminum oxide was produced in this reaction. Questions? I think this is probably the hardest problem we do all year. So, you know. Yeah, I'll leave this here. What's your question? Okay, this number is uh, the molar mass of aluminum oxide. So aluminum on the periodic table is 27 times 2, and I can write that down for a second. It's 27 times 2 plus oxygen is 16 times 3. And you just add those together, and that should be 1 and 2. Other questions? All right, hold on. We're done. Make sure you write down which one's the limiting reagent.